So I was lucky enough to recently put together a new quad with a new KISS Ultra Mini. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I set up my custom OSD on this new KISS Ultra Mini. Now I'm going to plug it in. Things first, what you need to do is you need to connect to your Ultra. I'm using the desktop app. Uh, you could use the web browser if you wanted to, but I like using the desktop app. So connect. First step, you need to go to your advanced tab. Um, scroll down to your DJI Shark by OSC. The mode will be MSP. Make sure that your layout is custom. Um, you can turn on the Corsair. I don't like it. I just keep it off and keep it metric. Yeah. Next, go into OSD. Now, now you're in the OSD tab. The best way to enter the OSD is, of course, to read the instructions here. You can your left. So you hold Z, Z, hold 3, 2, 1. All right, now we're gonna go into the OSD editor, click enter. You have all of these options available that you do not need uh, because you're running digital. So what you can do is that you hold right. So hold right, and then you get up all the sensor visibility options here. Because you're running DJI, you don't have a lot of options uh, on what DJI can display. So you might as well turn them off. I'm not running a GPS. So for example, I'm gonna turn off um, longitude and latitude press enter uh, no enter again and just go on so i'm going to repeat this for everything that i don't think i have i, I don't think i need so this is actually what most people have been asking me how do i get the average cell voltage uh, to be displayed into the uh the osc and what you want is this one cell voltage by default this is turned off so click enter switch it to yes and then click enter again cell voltage is important because if you fly multiple quads uh, 6s 4s 5s you don't know you don't remember offhand and what what voltage you need to return and if you turn on cell voltage then you can remember oh i come back at 3.5 or 3.8 or even 3.2 if you wanted to all right so to exit this page you hold left left arrow then you exit so now you can see it's all very clean now uh, the issue here is that it's all over the place and you can to place it wherever you want you can hover or navigate over these, uh, these items you press enter and then, then you get to move this right. so I'm going to move them to where I like them but you can of course move them to wherever you want to move them uh, this one takes a while because it takes multiple key presses and they don't travel very fast so I'll speed up this part of the video. All right, after eternity, that's what you have. Next, you're gonna hold left and you'll get this uh, custom OSG changes. You wanna save it, press enter save. And there you have it, there you're done. Now you have uh, your OSD as customized as you want it to be, as you can see here. Um, the only issue is, is that uh, this is not accurate to how it's actually been displayed in the goggles. So you need to plug in, readjust as you need it, as you see in the goggles, because it's not exactly the same as what you see in the goggles. Another thing is, is that this OSD backup, the backup of this OSD here is separate from the configuration backup. So make note that once you back up a quad, uh, quad and you restore it to a new ultra, don't forget that you also need to restore uh, the OSD file. So OSD backup and the KISS Ultra backup are two separate things. So just remember now that you can actually back up and restore your OSD. There you have it. That's how you get average cell voltage on your custom OSD for the KISS Ultra.